What's up everyone? This is Dobby from New World and we're back today with another video and this one is going to be about furniture making. First off, before we get into it, I just want to thank you guys so much. I believe the last video uh, already has 5,000 views and you guys are showing it some love and I appreciate the support. You know, I just wanted to make these New World videos for fun and to be kind of these info dumps for you guys so you can hopefully, hopefully learn something you know, be efficient with your grind, get a little min max on. And, you know, hopefully at the end of the day, I save you some time and uh, yeah. And hopefully you have some fun doing these, these routes. Um, so yeah, today's video is about furniture making. It is one of the hardest professions for sure. Let me turn my HUD back on. It is one of the hardest professions for sure. I am now at 149 furniture making. I will be fit 150 any day now. And I did have help from my guild. With that being said, I have learned a lot during this process. So I figure I would share with you today um, what I uh, could recommend if you're trying to level up furniture making. Um, so yeah, uh, furniture making will take place at the workshop. I'm at our tier five workshop in Everfall right now. And we can close out of this stuff. We don't, this is some engineering related stuff. We don't, we don't worry about that as furniture makers. So here we are. Uh, as a furniture maker, a lot of your recipes are going to require these stains. If you need to make a stain, they're right here. A lot of them, uh, I guess the beginning ones use uh, charcoal and these end, these getting to the end game ones, your base resource is going to be oil along with some of these uh, re reagents, right? And then uh, here will be your furniture schematics. These will be the ones that you've learned. And then here will be down here will be some unlearned ones. Uh, there are a lot of schematics you can pick up in the world, and so uh, some of the things I'm going to be talking about today you might need to find in the open world, which would just be a random thing, or be going onto your auction house to look for. Okay, so for um, for starting out with furniture making, I guess I would uh, recommend you know leveling up these uh, these ash these ash uh, furniture recipes. Right, you're going to get. 200, down here, by the way, bottom right underneath crafting will show you how much XP you get per craft. So start out with your ash ones, right? Um, I believe I was spamming these ash bunk beds. I just picked a random one and I just made a ton of it, okay? So I made those initially and um, from there you can go on to make, what was I making? I believe I went on to make the maple desk, okay? Now, I will say, I wasted some resources by doing that. So this is where this is where you want to maybe be looking on the auction house or maybe maybe check your uh, schematics. Maybe you've already learned it. There are some really good ones, okay? The second to best schematic, once you've once you've used this ash set to level up to 50, the second to best schematic would be Cherry Sheets Bunk Bed, okay? Reason being, you're getting 1100 furnishing, right? And look at the resources. It takes lumber, iron, and maple stain. If you look at the other, uh, if you look at the other uh, schematics at, that give you that same amount, this look. I just changed to maple small bookcase. You get the same amount of XP. It's requiring steel, right? Cherry sheets is only requiring iron. Okay, this is the second best recipe to use for your leveling. Okay, the re again reason being is you're only using iron, not steel, and you're getting the same amount of XP. Okay, however. The first best one would be this tree stump side table. Okay. And it's not going to be called that in the auction house. If you're looking for it in the auction house, it's going to be called a uh, stump, a uh, stump stool. That'll be the schematic. It'll be schematic, uh, stump stool, right? And this only takes lumber, weak solvent and maple stain. It's getting you that same 1128 furnishing, uh, experience, and it doesn't take any iron or steel, right? This is huge, okay? Sorry, I'm getting some notifications. You can probably hear them in the background. So I would recommend using your ash set, getting to 55, and then spam making this, okay? Here's the big thing. Uh, at 85, you can start making the iron storage chest no matter what. This is awesome. You pick up the major rune of holding from your uh, faction vendor, right? And if you put this in your house, each one gets you plus 300 storage. In the max level house, you can store up to four additional storage units. So this would be uh, 1,200 storage if you put four of these in your max level house. Now, uh, we're starting to get some cool end game drops and I was lucky enough to stumble across the Hope storage chest, right? This is plus 400 storage. So again, uh, 1,600 additional storage if you have the max level house. This is where you really wanna juice up to. So again, I would be looking for the, your, your side table, 
push your stuff all the way up to 85 for this additional storage. And if you got it in you, push it up to 145 for this additional storage. Um, also, while we're on the topic of furniture, in terms of utility, right? Storage obviously has a ton of utility, especially now that they changed the way that reagents are dropping. That stuff weighs a ton and it takes up so much storage space, right? So tons of utility in storage chests. You definitely want those. The other uh, component to furnituring that's not purely cosmetic and has some utility is trophies. Trophies are huge, okay? Um, you'll be able to make all of these, mi well, you'll be able to have the recipe for all of these minor trophy trophies. And again, if you're using that uh, that stump stool to level up at level 75, you'll be able to start making these, these, uh, these minor trophies. These are great. They give you buffs. They're global buffs and they're stackable. Uh, you can't put multiple of the same buff in your house, but if you have multiple houses, let's say I had three houses, I could have a, 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 mining, a, a, minor, a minor trophy of each type there are, sorry, a minor trophy stacking in each house. Sorry if that's not clear. Let's say that again. If you have three houses and let's say you want to focus on, let's say logging, this one right here, right? You could in each house put one logging trophy and all three of those trophies will stack and it's a global buff. It'll apply to your character wherever you are in the world. I will say out of all these minor trophies, I don't have it shown on my, uh, I don't have it shown on my trophy list. Let me run over to the trading post to show you real quick. Out of all the minor trophies, I think probably the best all around one is called the uh, Minor Loot Luck Trophy, okay? And the reason why that doesn't show up in your uh, schematics is it's because it requires you to have an, uh, a, a piece of inventory in your, uh, in your storage for that to appear. It's kind of weird, right? So what you need for that is a rabbit's foot, right? They're okay. That's sorting by the wrong price. Let's see what they're selling everywhere in the world. Rabbit's foot is selling, I guess, roughly the lowest one is 120 on my server. This is a drop from a rabbit. If you just kill it in the world, you can skin it and you have a small chance of the rabbit's foot dropping, right? Um, you can go around skinning rabbits if you want or pick it up from your trading post. But as long as you have your uh, furniture level to 75, and you have that rabbit's foot in your inventory, then if you go back to where I just was, I'll just run back there now. If you go back to where I just was under your trophy section, you will see uh, under your schematics, the minor loot luck trophy. And that one's great. It'll apply a, glo a again, it'll apply a global, it'll, yeah, sorry, it'll appear right here. It'll apply a global uh, loot bu uh, luck buff to your character, no matter where you are. And again, if you have multiple houses, you can stack them, right? So um, yeah, just a quick info drop for you guys. Man, furniture making is a grind. I will say, if you're trying to go this route where you're making these stump, stump side tables, it's probably the easiest one. But with that being said, you are gonna need an insane amount of wood. In terms of green wood and the mature wood, you're gonna need an insane amount. So, you know, I warned you, right? Like uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of wood, right? Um, is it worth it? Totally. You can make these chests. Uh, they sell pretty decent. I, they don't, the profit margin isn't as good as if you were selling bags. I don't know if that's attributed to the fact that, uh, maybe not so many people have houses in the game, or maybe some people aren't st struggling with storage yet, or maybe people don't even know that you can buy these storage chests for your house. You know, maybe it's just not as a universal of a product as selling bags, but there is definitely money to be made. Um, and these trophies definitely for end game are going to be crazy good. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you posted with my, my journey as making, as a furniture maker, I guess. Um, I'm playing on Yggdrasil on NA West. So, you know, just message Dobby if you have any, uh, furniture need questions. I'm, uh, glad to help you guys out if you, uh, if you have any questions or need anything made. Um... Yeah, again, thank you guys so much so much for the support, checking out the video. Leave a comment for sure if you have any questions. Uh, and definitely make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be pumping out more New World content. I'm just going to keep making these quick info drops uh, to help you guys play more efficiently. And uh, yeah, if I can save you guys money and time, then I've, uh, I've done my job here. So yeah, um, also if you want to check out my stream, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash DobbyNW. Just uh, Dobby, like essentially New World, right? But yeah, Dobby and W is the is the handle. I'll leave that in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, good luck with your furniture making. See you in the next video.